Right guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, uh, I'm going to be fitting the um, DT Swiss wheels that I showed you in the last video to the bike behind me, to the Giant Defy. Um, that's my winter training bike that this is. So um, these are a set of DT Swiss R24 spline disc wheels. Um, the only reason I'm putting them on, like I said before, is the back wheel, um, the standard Giant wheel. The bearings are giving up on that already, so um, I'm swapping them for these. So we go ahead and get these put on. I'll get them weighed for you and see if we see what they weigh, see what the weight saving is against the standard giant wheels for anyone that's interested. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get these on. Right, so here's the front wheel itself. Obviously, when you purchase it, it comes as a through axle setup, like you can see there, and it is um, designed for a centre lock disc. You see the splines there for a centre lock disc. Now I'm putting it on a disc bike, but it's got uh, normal quick releases and it's got a six bolt set up for the disc. So with the wheels in the box, you get the various adapters like these for if you've got different size axles, like your quick your uh, through axles, see so different sizes you can fit. And you also get the ones that I'm going to be using, which is a quick release. And also, with the discs, you get the um, you get the out the ring there itself on the outside. It's just for if you're using a centre lock disc, then you get an adapter behind it there. That's an adapter to order it for the six bolt setup, which I'll be needing the adapter. Obviously in the future when my discs wear out, I can swap it then for centre lock discs and do away with the adapter and I'll just use the outer ring which just screws on and then you can just use your centre lock but for the time being I'm using the uh, the 6 bolt setup. Right so here we have the st uh, standard giant front wheel with the uh, 6 bolt setup for the disc and, and the uh, just normal quick release axle. So go ahead, just remove your disc. It's a T25 um, torque. Just uh, we'll go ahead and undo those. Right, so that's the disc removed off the uh, wheel. Put that to one side. You can go ahead and feel what the bearings are like. And I can already tell that they're like they're full of gravel. And I say these wheels have probably done about 800 miles. And the bearings, they're rough as anything, those bearings. So these are the giant wheels that come with it. They originally had, um, I think there's SR2 on them, stickers in white on the wheels. And you compare that to a D, the DT Swiss one. That's like glass, how smooth that is. In comparison, it'll just roll. In comparison, it'll, it, that'll just roll forever in comparison to these. That's so tight. And it feels like gravel when you're turning it. And that's the front wheel. So I dread to think what the back wheel is going to be like. So it's way in time. Here's a standard giant wheel. That come with a bike. Call it 975. 975 for that. And we'll grab the uh, DT Swiss one. This has got the quick release adapters on it and the lock ring and the adapter for the six bolt disc set up as well. Nine, I call it 900. So 900 for the, the DT Swiss and uh, 975 for the giant wheel. So that's 75 grams just on the front wheel. So the DT Swiss wheels come with um, through axles, like that so. And if you want to convert to quick release, like I need to do, then you need to remove the end cap that comes on the wheel. It's on there, the bearings inside see the bearing so you need to go ahead and remove that before you can 
put in your quick release and just put a bit of grease around them and they just slot in like so in replace of the uh, through axle design. Go ahead and do the same on both sides and swap them over to quick release if you're running quick releases. So on the rear wheel with the uh, conversion for the axle if you if the wheels come with the um, through axle like so and you want to convert them to the quick release to convert them the free hub side you just literally get hold of the free hub body hold the wheel down just hold on to that and just pull it up it might be quite stiff to pull off but that that will pull up off then you can just take your end cap out of there and replace it with your end cap from the kit that come with the wheels put that on there put a bit of grease around it before you put it in just to, in case you need to get it out again it makes it easier next time and that's how you convert the free side. Right, so here we are with the rear wheel. This is a standard giant rear wheel on the scale, no skewer in it. One thousand two hundred and twenty grams for that one. We got DT Swiss wheel there. We got the adapter on for the six bolt adapter. No skewer. One thousand and twenty. So that's one thousand two hundred and twenty. That's one thousand and twenty. So that's uh, two hundred grams saved just on the back wheel. Right. So we got the uh, cassette swapped over onto the uh, DT Swiss wheel. Now I'll go ahead and just install the uh, disc rotor. Obviously, I've got the six bolt adapter on. If you're using just normal centre lock disc, you don't need this part. That just sits on there like so, and you just get your disc, and then just line it up, it just sits on there like that, and then you just get your locking ring, and tighten that on there, and then get your, uh, get your spanner, and you can sit that on there, and tighten that up, just like that, and then Tighten it down. These got to be quite tight because they're uh, 40 newton meters on the uh, stamped on them there. So you can go ahead and tighten them up. 40 newton meters is, is quite tight. So go ahead and get those tightened up, and that's your disc installed on there, ready for the quick release axle. The adapters for quick release are on both sides. And for all you white weenies, that's some of the stickers off the wheels. So I left the DT Swiss signs on there, but that's the R24 stickers, and that's 10 grams the stickers weigh for anyone who's interested. So there we have the uh, wheels all installed. As you see, I removed the majority of the stickers, I just left the DT Swiss sign there, the rest of the stickers I've taken off. See it's now uh, got the six bolt with the centre lock conversion there, the adapter. I say when these discs wear out I'll just change straight to centre lock so it can do away with the adapter. Um, but obviously they've got plenty of life left in them so I'm not swapping them yet. It's all in all nice looking wheels I say. They're just the uh, R24 spline, they got straight pull spokes. As you can see, there, aero spokes, are bladed spokes. I say the stickers I've removed because you can on these wheels because they're the lower end wheels. You can just pull the stickers off the higher end wheels. The stickers are actually, you know, part of the wheel. They're lacquered over with the finish of the wheel. See, they're not, you know, not removable. But on these, you can just take them off. So I prefer them without the, all the stickers on them. Purchase personal preference. 
so that's the wheel swap complete um, I hope you like the video as I say it saved uh, it's only a winter training bike for me so it was just interesting to see what the weight was the difference in the wheels and the quality there's no comparison between the stock wheels and the DT Swiss wheels um, and plus it saves a bit of weight I think it saves about 270 grams all in all so uh, just all off the wheels so that's uh, not bad at all um, but yeah for a winter training bike those wheels are pl plenty adequate plenty adequate for anyone really but um, I, I personally like DT Swiss wheels so I own a lot of them myself so um, I know the quality of them and they're easy to maintain as well uh, they've got cartridge bearings um, unlike the stock wheels that come with the bike um, they're just easy to maintain and look after uh, as I say I've taken the stickers off but that's personal preference um, but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, until then I'll see you on the next one